August 30th, St. Rose of Lima. Some half-century after the conquest of America by the Spaniards, the city of Lima, founded at the foot of the Andes Mountains in Peru, was suffering so great a corruption of customs that St. Francis Solanus threatened it with divine chastisements, as the prophet Jonah threatened Nivea. Divine mercy, however, was already acting in the soul of a child capable of making the necessary expiation. Rose of Lima, born on April 20th in the year 1586, grew under the protection of divine goodness. She took the third order habit of St. Dominic at age 20, offering constant prayer and sacrifices in her small oratory in the family garden. She was only 31 years of age when, on the evening of St. Bartholomew's Feast, August 24th, in the year 1617, she cried out, The spouse is here, and she delivered her soul to God. Zeal for the cause of God consumed this virgin. When she turned her eyes to the unfaithful nations of South America, she would weep and suffer torments of soul. She often counseled priests and monks to go with all haste to the aid of those nations. Once she thought of adopting a boy to raise him and later direct him to the missions but her death prevented the realization of that wish. One time, a Dutch fleet of Protestant heretics stopped outside of Lima's harbor. The alarm was raised in the city to prepare for an invasion. Rose ran to the church of St. Dominic, and like a warrior, placed herself before the tabernacle in order to protect our Lord with her life. God, however, was satisfied with that manifestation of her dedication that the enemy fleet left without damaging the city. Not just in Lima, but in all Peru and Latin America, miracles of conversion and countless graces were received through the intercession of that humble virgin, unknown until her death. The sovereign pontiff testified that since the discovery of Peru, no missionary had ever produced such a universal spirit of penance. The young woman who prayed and suffered amidst the general corruption of her city desired to live in silence and obscurity. Her action after death, however, made her a patron saint of Peru, and Pope Clement X extended her protection to all of America, the Philippine Islands, and India. Let us ask Our Lady and St. Rose of Lima to make Latin America a true Catholic continent so that it can accomplish its mission of providing faithful peoples for Christ's reign.